Hey guys, it's Andy here, and today I'm going to show you how to find all the ingredients needed to make Laser Savers Crystal Cell if you live in Canada. Alright, so first you can see off the bat the uh, 20 Mule Team Borax. Uh, this is sodium tetraborate. You can find this in any Walmart in the laundry detergent section. There's only one. 20 mule team borax there's no variations I think it was like six dollars or something it's very inexpensive and you get a ton of it uh, next up uh, you can see I got the um, Epsom salts this is pure Epsom salts from the bulk barn surprisingly so this stuff um, is just in the very back uh, you can see its texture and it says right when you go in the store you can see it it says its um, proper name which is magnesium sulfate um, that's all it is pure magnesium sulfate and this was five dollars for all of this um, it was right full as you can see I've used quite a bit of it it was uh, pretty much right to the brim for five dollars so next up we have alum powder which is also at the bulk barn uh, alum powder is in the spice section. It's used for pickling, from what I believe. Um, you can see it has a very unique uh, texture. There was nothing else there that even looked remotely like it. It was in one of the uh, small little bins on the uh, shelf wall. Filled right to the brim, $5. Like That is more than enough alum. You don't even need half of this amount. So next up we have our potassium chloride. This is just water softener. That's all it is. And uh, I, don't, I took a tiny bit out because it was a 20 kilogram bag. You have to make sure the bag says potassium chloride. It's, um, you know, not extremely brittle. I think I just threw these into uh, a large blender and it turned it right into a powder. So next I'll show you I had all these labeled. So this is our potassium chloride in a powder form. So here if I can show you. Next is our alum powder turned in turned into a, an actual powder because <laughs> it's pretty thick originally. It um goes into the air very easily, so you probably don't want to breathe it in. But it smells like pickles, so <laughs> it's not that bad. Here's our Epsom salt. Like, just have it labeled. So this stuff kind of chunks up a bit, as you can see, but it's not a big deal. This would be borax. So borax is already pretty fine, but you put it through and it becomes a very fine powder. So next, I just take, uh, I think I used uh, two tablespoons of every single one, and I put it in here. And uh, this is the final product. So I just threw all of it in together and then I just put the lid on and I just shook it and shook it and shook it. And then if I saw any clumps then I just used a spoon or something and crushed it down a bit and tried again. So uh, I was just using these because they were lying around. Um, you know, you obviously could just put these in plastic bags. Uh, if you're new to making crystal cells and you're having troubles, um, I use this to boost the um, output power. These are just eye drop, and it was like four dollars at the drugstores, whatever's on sale, and just look at what chemicals are in it. Uh, but it's basically just distilled water with some salts in it. I'm trying to aim towards not having to use water or distilled water at all in any of my cells but for you know first time first few makes it's um really helpful to put a few drops in anyways uh hope this helps you if you were looking at starting off making crystal cells but didn't know where to go to get the chemicals you can go to walmart bulk barn and this stuff i believe i got it at home depot and then you just use a blender or coffee grinder to uh, mix up everything turn it into a fine powder and then you just throw it all together in equal parts and there you go you got more than enough to make a bunch of cells so, anyways, hope you uh, like this video and subscribe if you want to see more about making crystal cells and different crystal cell designs. Uh, 
Have a good day.